okay this video is specifically for jeep xj 99 year because there is a confusion that there is a composite rotor and a cast iron rotor uh, i'm not technical and i don't know much about it but when i'm trying to buy the rotor and the hub there is a lot of things going on there i couldn't find the right one but one thing uh, by removing my wheels uh, and checking my hub i found mine is the older uh, hub which is here and uh, even though my jeep was made in 09 month which is 99 year 09 month still it had the older hub so looks like it would have been replaced by the previous owner i'm not sure about it uh, but one thing doing the research i found is the newer set here this is the newer set you can easily identify by the longer uh, stud and the longer neck you can see the neck is sticking out and for the older one the instead of saying the studs are shorter the neck is shorter the studs itself is same in level with both if you keep it the studs are level for both of it so i cannot say the stud stud is shorter but it looks shorter uh, than this one because uh, i will take the disc uh, rotors out and i will show you so with the neck itself you can identify the neck is longer in the newer 99 year and the neck is uh, shorter in the older uh, 99 year jeep xj so uh, if you think the rotor and the disc would bring the same height same surface height this is the surface height where your wheel is going to sit if you think the if you put the newer one in the older uh, 99 and it's going to bring your surface uh, level it's not you can see I kept three washes to make this level so this is a newer uh, hub and newer rotor even though this thickness this thickness of the rotor here is thicker than the older one but still it couldn't make the level still it needs 3.76 mm to make the height of the older one so you cannot uh, put this but the bolts and everything else is same only thing is if you put this this wheel is going to sit 3.67 mm in inside than the previous uh, setting uh, of the older uh, hub uh, probably i think that would make the rear wheel alignment to your front wheel so your front wheel will be uh, 3.67 mm inside so I don't know that is a huge problem or not. Uh, I don't know whether that would cause an issue or not. But that's what I'm seeing uh, buying both the sets. And uh, for video, you can see this is the latest model hub and latest model rotor. So note the number. This is the latest model. And this is the older model of 99 year and older older model uh, rotor but let's compare other stuff here so let's take this out let's take the rotor itself 8.46 so 8.45 8.46 that's what this surface is in uh, the newer one let's see the disc thickness probably that should be the same for both 24.5 trying to remove it change 24.41 okay probably that could be the same for both I, I didn't see a difference if I keep it nearby let's keep it next to next first let's do the rotor okay let's take the older rotor 6.43 so that was 8 point something right this is just 6.4 6.24 around that so definitely the rotor or oh, the thickness of the rotor itself 24.41 so let's keep it next to next and you can see the rotor is almost even 
probably it's slightly differing so but you have the numbers there so the rotor thickness itself is same hub is taller the surface of the older hub is taller here this hub is shorter this thickness itself is shorter the thickness is uh, more here Seven point two three mm shorter. So the newer one is seven point two three mm shorter, but with the rotors on, it is just uh, three point two seven something shorter. So definitely the rotor thickness makes a uh, little higher, uh, but still it is shorter as a set. It's flush, and let's keep the leveler on it. and you can see how much the bubble is over this side so this one is a lot height than the other side so that's how i found if you have to keep three washers then it brings almost to the same leveler of my so my bench may not be leveled right so i kept another leveler over here to see my bench level and trying to match that bubble with that one so it is almost it's not exactly let's see to keep yeah this looks almost the same so it took four washes so whatever i said the previous three point sum is not the accurate one let's see everything is flush okay so it takes four washes to make the newer one level to the older one let's see how how much thick is that it's 4.93 mm so 4.93 mm difference is that uh, from the old to new so uh, during the alignment if you see your uh, if you put the new hub on the older uh, 99xj the newer one is going to be like a 4.95 mm inner than your back wheel that's what i'm thinking so let me know if that is something not accurate or let me know uh, if that is an issue in the alignment i i even don't know that but i can say it has it the height is not the same that's all i can say um, i don't know about the issue uh, i couldn't find much videos about this that's why i'm making this video is just purely information um, it's not saying something is right and something is wrong so i couldn't find this information it was very hard to find so i'm making this buying both the hubs and both the um, rotors and one thing i know is the set you cannot interchange so if you see your hub has the older hub with the shorter neck go with 409a rotors if you are changing only the rotors if your hub has a longer neck which is the newer one go with the 972a rotors ending with 972a so that that much i can say so if somebody is experienced in this or alignment guy uh, let me know if i put the new hub which is around 5 mm shorter would that be a issue in the alignment would that be a problem um oh uh, one more thing i can show here is what is the fitting looks like okay the newer hub you can see the height and everything this thickness is short this one they increased from the older one the older one has like only this piece thicker and these are thinner but here everything is thicker and here they make they made some difference so here the contact part is very thin you can see this one is coming like a mountain uh, and uh, it has a depth going inside the contact surface this is the contact surface if you can see that one is short and other than that this size is same the contact surface size is actually same let me measure that so 100.02 contact surface okay 100.02 let's go ahead and do on the older one okay so this is thicker 
this is shorter this is shorter you identify the old one and you can see only this part the uh, ear part is thicker other piece are short but in that one everything is thicker and you can see the contact surface it has a little big contact surface it doesn't have the depth oh it has the depth at the end but the contact surface is little longer than that one and let's see the contact surface hundred point zero zero is the same uh, with just like slight movement it, uh, it will change that point or something that doesn't match both are hundred so both are going to sit perfectly both uh, bolt sizes are same both ho bolt holes are same uh, lugs are same everything is same but only the height difference even though with the same matching rotor the height has some difference okay so just to clarify one more thing here um, I kept this wood because the rotor would be touching down if I don't have it. So uh, since I'm doing all the measurements here, I want to make sure uh, the wood I'm keeping down is also the same measurement. You can see the wood is three fourth wood. Both are same wood piece, uh, and it's the same measurement. So anybody experience with alignment or anybody experience with a lot of uh, XJs, uh, please let me know. Uh, I'm just putting out the information uh, to gather the commands so it would be useful for others. Uh, can we go with this difference? Uh, let me know actually uh, these are the right part numbers or even if this is, a, this is not the right part. Both are available in Amazon. These, these sets I got it. It doesn't come as a set. But Amazon has for 99 Jeep XJ if I put Amazon has two hubs, two rotors. I bought both of them. So that's how I got Amazon doesn't mention uh, this is for uh, this is the match for 99 Jeep XJ. But I have to go to the command sections and see what is uh, what. So I bought both of it uh, uh, hoping that probably I can put the newer one if I put as a set. But I'm finding this difference. Uh, let me know if that would be an issue if uh, it is uh, uh, 5mm shorter uh, than the older one and would that be an issue during the alignment if it has 5mm shorter uh, what all other issues are there or if there is a uh, other products which is exact match uh, which will bring the height to the older one uh, let me know please give your comments so it would be helpful for me and as well as others and again thanks for watching my video and if you feel this is helpful please hit like and if you want to see more contents like this please subscribe to my channel